please order a pizza and it automatically searches in Google Maps and then orders the pizza directly from WinSurf. This is using MCP from Anthropic. And I'm going to teach you how you can create MCP servers and integrate like this. Here I can select any component from this web page. So I've selected this now. Then I can say get my selected item and change it to Prison AI. Then it's using MCP tool to get the selected element, understanding what is in there and proposing the change. In this way, you are able to integrate directly with your web browser, getting logs. Also, you are able to take screenshots so that WinSurf automatically understand what is in the browser. And I'm going to take you through step by step. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Also want to let you know that there is NVIDIA GTC AI conference, which happens in March from 17th to 21st. There are various interesting things planned here. Specifically, I want to mention about future ready AI agents session, AI agents in production from Harrison Chase, co-founder, CEO Langchain, best practices to implement your AI strategies, how to onboard your team of AI agents and much more. You can even directly go and visit or you can view those sessions using virtually. You can directly attend this conference. Also, this is available virtually, which means you can watch it from your home. Now let's continue with the video. In this, we'll be using Browser Tools MCP. Using this, you are able to automate the process of getting the console logs, making WinSurf able to see what's on the web page rather than you manually taking screenshots and copying error codes and pasting in WinSurf. Also, you are able to integrate this many other MCP tools, even for ordering pizza, even though that is out of scope. But in this, we are focusing on browser tools. So this involves four steps. This is same like the cursor tutorial, which I made previously, but here, same as before, we got the MCP client, that is WinSurf, then MCP server protocol, node server, and Chrome extension. So first step, download WinSurf. You should be able to download that from codium.com. So this is a good AI code editor, which can automatically write code for you, give suggestions, you are able to refactor the code, it can understand the code as a whole. Once after you open WinSurf, if you click Command L or Control L for Windows, you should be able to see the cascade window. There you got these options. So this is called MCP. So I'm going to click on that. And here it shows the available tools, but I could even configure or add tools by clicking the configure button. So click on that, then it'll automatically open this configuration page. There I am mentioning the browser tools and this command. I'll put all the code in the description below so you can just copy and paste it. So this is the overall code for running one browser tools, NPX and this one. Now for this instance, you need node package manager. So go to node.js.org and download the node.js version. So in the browser tools, we got list of steps to follow to install this. I'll put the, this link in the description below. So first step, clone this repo. So I'm just copying it. And in your terminal, you can clone the repo like this, git clone, and then click enter. So you can navigate to that folder and you can even open it. There you can see these all folders. So the key folder is Chrome extension. Next step, install the Chrome extension. You need to go to manage extensions and developer mode. So at the top of your browser, go to windows, extensions, then you're going to enable the developer mode here. Next in the same page, click load unpacked and choose the Chrome extension folder, which we have just downloaded in this path and then click select. That will automatically install this browser tools MCP. Third step is to set up browser tools in WinSurf. So we have already completed this step of adding the configuration like this. And now if you go to WinSurf and refresh the tools, you should be able to see the browser tools. Clicking on that, you can see it has the ability to get console logs, console errors, network logs, network errors, take screenshot, get selected elements and wipe logs. So in this way, it can automatically interact with this tool. So finally, the fourth step and the final step is to copy this command and paste it. So here you can see, first we have set up MCP client, that is the WinSurf. Then we set up the configuration, that is MCP server configuration. Then we have set up the Chrome extension, 
And the final step is to set up node server. So that is this command. So I'm just copying it, coming to my terminal again and running that command. And now I can see aggregator listening to this IP and then Chrome extension connected via WebSocket. That is working now. For testing purpose, I've got a Flask application. So I'm going to run this Flask application. It's running in this URL. So if I open, this is how it looks. To open the console, I can just right click and inspect. There you should be able to see the browser tools MCP. So here I can capture any screenshot directly from here where you want to save the screenshot and advanced settings. So coming back to WinSurf, I'm going to create a folder called screenshot and copying the path here and then pasting it here in the browser. So now if I click capture screenshot, it'll automatically get stored here. So I could even say at screenshot and refer that screenshot and then ask it to optimize the page with colors. And now it's analyzing the screenshot, is going through the file and adding colors to the page. Everything is automatic. You can see the changes here in the index file. I'm going to accept all and I can see there's a slight change in the color. Next, I'm going to select this component, Prison AI. As you can see here, Prison AI is selected. I can just choose this MCP, which has access to these tools. You can just say, give me the selected element. Now it's using the MCP tool automatically and it got me the H1 tag that is Prison AI. So I'm going to say, change that to Mervin Prison. Now it's calling the MCP tool again to analyze, then searching the code base, making the necessary changes in the index.html file. I can even see the difference here. To accept the changes, I'm clicking accept all changes. Now if I go back to my browser, I can see this got changed. That is super powerful. So I've added a console log here, a test log. So similarly, any error coming in a web page will happen or show here. So each time an error happens, you need to copy the code manually and paste it in WinSurf to fix the error. But now you can directly call by just saying, get my console log and it can use the MCP tool and get the console log. That is really cool. In that way, you can fix any errors automatically. Similarly, you are able to integrate this with any application, even to an API to order pizza. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like this, I also created another video about WinSurf the beginner's tutorial, which I'll put the link in here and I highly recommend for you to watch. Apart from that, if you're interested in MCP, I will also put another link here, which you can click to know more about and I will see you there.